<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's it Survival God here with another Wicked Wednesday. Hopefully you enjoyed the, the change in scenery. It's been a couple weeks. I got got a little sick. So uh doctor put me on a uh, liquid diet right here. I've got Wicked Wheat Brewing Fresh Pressed Wheat Ale. We're going to give this a shot today. We're going to do beer only. We're going to get back to the basics on this one and, and start with a 5.2% alcohol. It says mango, pineapple, and guava. And now we've had quite a few of Wicked Weed Brewing's IPAs, but this I would assume is a little bit different since it is a wheat ale. I don't think that this has anything to do with an IPA. So we're going to give it a shot. And what we're going to do is we're going to pour this wheat ale. It smells like a wheat ale. Okay, we're going to pour it into this never been used, only rinsed out once brand new bottle jar. Oh, it's very light. Even lighter. Like this is not gold or hazy. Let's see if this will die down a little bit. Get that. Now I can see the resemblance to pineapple just based off the color. So All right. Huh, very light. Almost tastes like a juice. This is a lot different than an IPA. This is very smooth. It's very light. Even the, even the foam itself has a lot flavor. I got just a little bit of that. I'm kind of let that trying to let that work its way out. But this is really good not amazing it feels like you could probably drink quite a few of them and you wouldn't be terribly full it does have a very a very light feel to it i can taste the stuff i can taste the mango and the pineapple now the guava not so much Not so much, but definitely the pineapple and the mango. I'm definitely digging it. Super easy to drink. About the same price. I think this one was $8.99 or $9.99 for a six pack. So it all costs something. You know what I mean? It just, it's kind of deceiving because the color of it i almost feel like i'm drinking something not beer and it, i guess it's because it's the wheat oh uh, we got a we got a good couple weeks coming up it's about to warm up mm, it's gonna be wonderful i'm gonna start doing some of these outside having some wicked wednesdays outside All right. This be e really easy to drink. Um, I've been sticking with three or four beers. It, when I do drink, I'm only drinking three or four. And this one would be pretty good to drink three or four and not get too full. Still be able to eat a good dinner. You know, and that's what I like to do. I like to make my decisions based off of that. If it would make a good dinner or or if it would uh, if it would pair well make if it would make a good dinner if it would pair well with actually eating afterwards that's kind of what i look forward to and you know getting my belly full getting a decent lifted alcoholic buzz and then riding it slowly down with some good food so if anybody's interested in wicked weed brewings fresh pressed wheat ale i definitely recommend it for a light drink 
probably really good on a hot day. You might start getting into some of these lighter summer beers. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Tell your friends about it. I'm going to work on this liquid diet. Say survival guide. Chuck and deuces.